Now, whether you are a tech reviewer or not, a totally different form factor from a typical smartphone is surely very appealing indeed. With options like the sliding T-shape like design for the LG's Wing, the huge bezeled foldable Microsoft Duo or the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2, smartphone makers are coming up with new ways to spice things up in the smartphone market. But yet, no one did what Oppo did by creating a rollable display. Hey guys, Adam Lobo here from Adam Lobo TV and here is my first impressions and my hands-on experience with the Oppo X2021. So keep watching. Starting from the design and build, when the phone is not extended, it feels like a regular smartphone with a very similar feeling to the premium Oppo Find X series where it did feel great in the hands and I have to say that I love how the finish was at the back of the phone with a white glossy finish where again, it just looks like a regular smartphone. Now the cameras are placed in a vertical position towards the top left of the phone with no camera bump which I really appreciated. Then there's a silver to a gold colour strip design that goes through the camera's array side as well with the Oppo logo towards the bottom right. Now in terms of the phone spots and buttons, there is the USB-C port down below and also you'll find the speakers and that tiny little rounded thing towards the right is the rollable mechanism which is a 6.8mm axis to ensure there's no visible traces or creases on the screen which I'll go into a bit more later. Then you'll find this side button on the side of course which Oppo calls it the magic side button where you can use it to swipe up or down to extend or retract the rollable display. In front, there is a full screen display without any selfie cameras since the main focus of the phone is the screen's viewing experience which I really appreciated as well. Alright, now to the coolest unique feature of the Oppo X2021 which is of course, the screen. Now this is the world's first rollable smartphone which goes from a 6.7 inch to a massive 7.4 inch screen where it uses a flexible and a beautiful OLED panel and based on me looking at the phone in real life. Since it's not a foldable phone, there's no worries of seeing any creases and the transition between the smaller screen to a bigger screen was super smooth and vice versa where your brain will take a while for you to process the whole situation especially if you're looking at the rollable screen for the very first time. And where you can kind of understand how this rollable action works is when you look at how the mechanism moves at the back where you'll find a motorized sound too similar to the pop-up camera where we used to get that in smartphones previously which I still love the pop-up camera. Now, I'm sure you guys are wondering about how durable is this rollable screen. While there's no official testing, but it can apparently go up to 200,000 times with the 2-in-1 plate display support. But I have to say that even with the pop-up camera release in smartphones, people in general were so worried about that. But eventually, it was totally fine and I am confident that it will be totally fine on this Oppo X2021 as the company or Oppo in general never skims on having a great build for all of their smartphone range. And of course, for this case, they have the two roll motors, one on each side, which can sustain a sudden push or pull like how the pop-up camera worked, where if you force close the phone, it will automatically go back. But of course, that is not advisable. And speaking of which, if you happen to own this phone, you have to make sure that the screen is locked before putting it in your pocket to prevent accidental screen extensions that could, in the long run, ruin the phone's motors. Now, there's no official specs for the screen's resolution, but based on Gizmo China's site, it has a 1080p by 2400 pixels, which is an FHD Plus resolution with 405 ppi density and also apparently a Corning Gorilla Glass 3 protection as well. Then the camera specs is a 48 megapixel main lens, an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle lens, a 2 megapixel macro lens, and a 2 megapixel TOF camera, which kind of makes sense since it does show at the back of the phone as well. And you can get a larger screen real estate to take photos. And with the TOF camera, you can get great coverage of AR indoors as well. Now again, there's no official spec list for the phone's processor, GPU, and the variants available, but again, apparently, 
It comes with 6 GB of RAM and 128 GB of storage. Where well, to be honest, since this is not the official spec list, I would take this info with a pinch of salt. And finally, in terms of the battery, it apparently comes with 5000 mAh of battery with 30 watts fast charging and that's it. So with this, my question to y'all is, what do you guys think of this rollable smartphone compared to a very successful foldable smartphone like the Z Fold 2? And would you guys get it? As for me, because of its thin form factor, I would love to use the Oppo X 2021's rollable technology since as I mentioned earlier, it has a typical smartphone form factor and it's not as thick as a foldable smartphone. But I would love to know what your thoughts are. So let me know at the comment section below. As this phone is not officially or commercially available yet, but let's just wait and see when I get to hopefully use this phone as my daily driver really soon.